Melissa. Happy Wednesday. I hope you are all having a fabulous week this week. I am here to show you, reintroduce you to one of my newest machines, printers, cutters. This one does both in my craft room. So this is the Roland BN20A. The A is important. I'm going to tell you why, but I also want to show you a bunch of things that I have done with the Roland BN20 since I've had it. And the burning question that we get all the time, what is the difference between the BN20 and the BN20A, okay? So there's just a few minor major differences um, and I'm gonna tell you them first and then I'm gonna show you what I've done so you can decide if what you're getting with the BN20 versus the BN20A is worth it or not for you, okay? All right, so I've actually uh, sent myself an email with these notes so I can remember all of the uh, benefits and not really benefits, just features of the differences between the two. So. Welcome everyone, links and stuff are up top for everything that we talk about. So, if you're interested in the BN20A, this is a 20 inch eco solvent printer. I have it, <clears throat> excuse me, sitting next to my um, Cameo 4 Pro, which is a 24 inch silhouette, so that you can see the size difference, okay? So the BN20A is an eco solvent printer, which means it uses a different type of ink. The ink actually can't even see the cartridges <clears throat> it is a four ink cartridge printer and cutter in one. So if print and cut is the name of your game, this is an awesome machine. Now, this is not a hobby crafter machine. This is a machine for those of you silhouette, friends of mine who have outgrown your silhouette, have a business, you're wanting to move up, you want faster production, you don't like to print on one machine and cut on another, you wanna do it all at once, all right? so. Big things, difference between the BN20 and the BN20A, the A just came out in the last couple of months. The biggest difference is one, the price. This one is about $1,800, $1,500 to $1,800 less. Does it have a price tag? Yes, a big price tag if you're used to, you know, a $499 Silhouette Cameo Pro. This one is add a five to the end of that. Yes, $49.95, so about $5,000. And that doesn't include the ink. Probably my biggest gripe with the Roland BN20 and BN20A that it doesn't include the ink. I mean, it's like selling a car without tires in my opinion. However, um, you have the option to get a bundle with ink and I would highly recommend that you do that. I've linked to it up top. So, um, so the BN20A has a lower price point than the BN20, okay? So what, what gives, right? There has to be a reason. So one reason is the number of ink cartridges. I'm gonna shift the camera a little bit so you can see. Um, so these are the ink cartridges that you can see extending out the side of the, of the BN20A. So the BN20A, I have to keep saying it, I'm sorry, to differentiate between the BN20, the A has four ink cartridges, C, M, Y, K. So, you know, blacks, uh, based on, I'm just gonna call them pink, blue, and yellow, okay? Because cyan, just like, I, it's enough. Um, so C, M, Y, K for the BN20A. The BN20 has a five ink cartridge capability. That gives you the ability to put a white cartridge in there. It gives you the ability to put metallic, or what some people do is double magenta. Okay, pink. So you don't get that with the A, but that allows the price point to be lower. Now, why would they give up the white ink cartridge slot? Well, as it turns out, you don't really need it a whole lot unless you are printing on clear material. Okay, so for example, this design here, done on the BN20A, clearly has white. Because guess what? It's printed on white heat transfer vinyl, so the negative space is white. This design here has some white in there. Again, white adhesive vinyl. This design here clearly has white, okay? So anybody else a Tyrese Maxi fan? He's my favorite 76er. Uh, anyway, um, so... The, they took away the ability to have a white cartridge. However, do you really miss it? If you're doing white or if you're doing window clings and you, and you want white, 
um, or excuse me, if you're doing window clings and you're using clear window cling material, then yes, you would need white so that it has that base. However, they make white window cling. So you have options there. Um, so that's the biggest two differences is the fact that the price is lower on the A and there is only there are only four ink cartridge slots. Also, this one's in stock, okay? The BN20 is not in stock <laughs> and it may not be available until at least October. So if you have a business that you're trying to get running, if you want to get up and going, this is the one that you're going to um, want to be interested in. Okay, you might want to look into. Now, let's talk about some of the things that I've done. I showed you a couple of the shirts. Heat transfer vinyl. Um, this is Caesar. Heat transfer vinyl, full color. This one's been through the wash a bunch of times. Um, obviously, you can see on a white shirt, okay? You can also do on black. Sure, literally any color, right? So this one you probably can't see, but this one uses a glitter. Let me see if I can come a little bit closer. This one uses a glitter material, okay? It's kind of hard to see on camera. Um, and then, so that is also a heat transfer vinyl. So you can full color, so the ability to do full color graphics on for heat transfer vinyl, okay? So why wouldn't you just print this on or cut this on your Cameo um, why wouldn't you just cut this on your cameo? You absolutely could, except that this, again, I'm going to come a little closer. It has some shading, right? So shading, fades, different things like that are not possible with, um, heat transfer vinyl. Also, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, you know, a whole bunch of 12 different colors. Are you going to layer all that on HTV? That's going to take you forever. And what if you need to make more than one, right? So the ability to quickly make bulk print and cuts. So this is, as I said, this one is a 20 inch. So however many you need, this is a vinyl sticker. So again, can do heat transfer vinyl, can also do adhesive vinyl. This is the equivalent of printing on Oracle 651 or 631, okay? So that's this. This is a sheet, pattern sheet of vinyl that I purchased. This is a pattern sheet of vinyl that I printed. It's literally like, see? Uh, what else do I have? Here's another shirt, okay? Full color shirt, decals, okay? Stickers. This was a patterned vinyl, patterned sheet of vinyl. Look at this gold. So this has gold, the color. This was completely printed on my Roland BN 20A. I don't have metallic inks, okay? This was a full sheet of vinyl. I just wrapped it around the tumbler. All right, so there are a lot of things. You can do poster, uh, they have poster material, they have canvas material, uh, obviously an array of HTVs, different thicknesses, different, um, so they, it does have a hand, okay? It's not sublimation. I'm gonna tell you a little bit something about this shirt here. So we went to a, a Sixers game a couple weeks ago, and of course at like eight o'clock, you know, two days before PM, I was like, hmm, let's make shirts. I love Tyrese Maxi. So I made a shirt for myself. I ordered the white shirt, which said it was polyester. And then it came, I had zero polyester. So I was like, what am I gonna do? Principal heat transfer is an option. Of course, as soon as I made it, my son and my husband decided they wanted one too. So the fastest way to do this, print out three of them on here. Literally, you just print, it cuts around it, and then I just pressed it on with my heat press, okay? All right, so all set with that. And like I said, this has been through the wash multiple times. My son had his on a black shirt. Uh, like a typical 10-year-old boy, he lost it before we even, even went to the best basketball game. Uh, yeah, but I'm sure his would have been fine in the laundry had it even had a chance to go through. <laughs> Fuck me. Thank God I didn't buy it. Uh, anyway, so if you're interested again in the Roland BN 20A, I have been extremely happy with it. Um, again, a couple things that I just, I wish it came with the ink, but of course the ink, the price point would then be a little bit higher. Don't forget to add the ink or you're going to get it and not have a way to print with it. So there's a bundle that comes with ink, would highly recommend. There's a bundle that comes with ink and the stand. So this stand, 
you can see it rolls around. Again, highly recommend. This is, from the front, it's a bit conceiving. It's deep, right? Okay, so I'm gonna just show you. See, hopefully you can kind of see I have a rug here, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to. So it it is deep, okay? I keep it in my other smaller part of my office. This down here you can't really see, but I do have videos on it. Um, you can put the whole roll goes in here, okay? So software, we should talk about software. I still do all of my designing in Silhouette Studio. There's one piece of this that the Roland VersaWorks software, which by the way is only PC compatible, looking at you Roland. Um, however, you can use, there's a couple options. If you already have Adobe Illustrator, you can use that to add the cut line, which you need because the software needs to know where exactly to print and where exactly to cut. And there is not one software that will do everything, unfortunately. So you can use Adobe Illustrator, which is a subscription or I have actually found the best combination to be Silhouette Studio Business Edition, which if you're here, you probably already have that. Or if you don't, it's uh, $40 off right now. So go grab it for $60. I'll throw the link for that as well. And then Affinity. Affinity is a one-time paid program. It's literally just like Silhouette Studio in, in the payment regard. Like it just, you pay one time and that's it. It's $50. And that will allow you to add the cut line that Roland needs. Now, you will need to print from a PC. You can see up here, well, maybe you can't. I have a laptop here that I use for all these printers that decide that they don't like to cooperate with my beloved Mac. Okay, so if you're, just be aware of that. Don't go buying this and then be disappointed that it won't work on your Mac, because it, it won't, okay? Um, some people use Parallels if you're a Mac user. I, I don't. I just use a cheap PC. Um, anyway, any questions that you have, feel free to leave them in the comments. I did link up top to a um, page on Silhouette School blog that has all of my Roland uh, videos and uh, blog posts. There, because of the, the type of content that this is, I know that not everyone on Silhouette School is going to be interested. I sometimes post things directly to YouTube. Um, and so, but I have videos on Affinity. I have videos on Adobe Illustrator. I have videos on how to print on here and cut on your Pro to speed up production even more. You can print on your Roland and then keep it printing while you do the cutting part on your Cameo Pro. So I have videos on that, the setup, the installation, the all that, okay? So we have the support, we have the education for you. Um, ideas on how to use it and everything like that. All right. If you're interested again, BN 20 a in stock right now, BN 20 is going to be back order for months. Unfortunately, the, there's the, between the supply chain issues and the demand it's, you know, we're seeing a lot of this back order stuff. All right. All right, you guys, I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day. If you're interested in the BN 20, highly recommend BN 20 a, a <laughs> highly recommend. See ya.